join the annual Keanu College Foundation Gala, which raised more than $450,000. The Extravagant Affair is one of the premier events in Fort McMurray. We're here to raise friends and funds. Huge night for our, all, of our, uh, all of our donors. Uh, huge recognition to everyone in the community uh, of what our donors provide to us so we can, uh, so we can uh, squeeze some, uh, some money over to the college, which, which we have a mandate for every year to do. This event uh, with the, the college and everything, raising funds for it, it's, it's all about the charity and um, everything that's here. It's uh, fantastic and I'm so happy and be proud of uh, being part of Fort McMurray. Oh my God, it's been a great time tonight. Wonderful. It's been very, We're, very fun. There's lots and lots of people who are dressed so elegantly. It's very nice. I think it's the best place I've ever been in my whole life. I love this place. It's well organized. The band is great. The food is great. Everything. Everyone's just in a great time. Fantastic. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. The food's amazing. I've never had a better time. The band, incredible. Love it. Hey, Carly, you having fun tonight? Yeah, lots of fun. It was awesome. That was a really good time. Love, great big C. Besides Great Big Sea, people were participating in a silent auction with very luxurious items that had beautiful scenery, photo booths, and a Hey Romeo, an award-winning country band from Edmonton. We were so honored to be asked back. I mean, this place it looks incredible. It's going to be a fantastic night. Last year was so much fun. I don't know. I think... There was a lot of people left at the end of the night while we were tearing down. <laughs> so it was pretty awesome. Now you draw your inspiration from Martina McBride, is that correct? Well, a little bit. I mean, I know um, when I was growing up a lot and uh, Alison Krauss and, you know, I, I draw a lot of my kind of harmony influences Gets a from... a lot of her hair tips from Martina. <laughs> <laughs> you beat me to it. I was oh, going to say that. <laughs> it's good I have the microphone. <laughs> My hair, not as gorgeous as yours, so <laughs> if you're taking tips from Martina McBride, maybe I should start taking tips from Martina McBride. Uh, album released last year, anything else coming up on the horizon? Well, uh, funny you should ask that, we've been, um, we wrote about 30 new songs, we've been sort of back and forth from Nashville, and working on a lot of new material with a bunch of different writers, Carolyn Don Johnson to sort of name one of them, and um, really good people, and so we've been sort of demoing with our band to try to get figure out which is the best songs and which ones we're going to record and so we're going down back to Nashville at the end of the month to um, to record some and we actually were listening to some new mixes today and so we're pretty excited It'll, new material in February and so there'll be a new album to follow so it's a, it's a really exciting time for us. So you guys have actually performed with the likes of Darius Rucker, Johnny Reed, I mean these are I know they're a bit bigger name than you guys, even though you guys are still mm -hmm. like coming into your own. Kind yeah, of yeah. Thing. How do you draw from performances like those uh, those bands? Well, Darren almost ran over Darius Rucker. Yeah, that's well, what. You, that's you how have we to talk about that experience. <laughs> how did you almost we were, run over Darius? I was I was backing up the truck and trailer uh, at a corporate event we were doing in Calgary, and they were they were the headliner. And as I was backing up, I saw this guy jump out from behind the trailer. I'm like, wow! I just about backed over Hootie. <laughs> and then this big fella came up to the window and banged on it. You just about backed over my meal ticket. I'm just like, oh, sorry, <laughs> sir. Yeah, that was pretty so, crazy. So we just saw Darius at the CCMAs backstage, and we told him that story. He laughed hard. <laughs> and, he, and actually, he did say, he goes, he probably told you he was going to back over his meal ticket. I'm like, yeah, that's exactly what he said. <laughs> so the big question is, will they ever have you back? Uh, <laughs> I don't think he ever has he took, anymore. He took it pretty well. Yeah, yeah, he did. He's actually really nice. And you know what? People like Johnny Reed, like Darius, like a lot of the bigger artists, I mean, I don't think I've met anyone that has not been amazing to work with and, and just really eager to talk to you and tell you, you know, advice or whatever. So it's really nice. It's got a we've got a really nice music scene in Canada and in the U.S. It's really nice. Overall, the night was a complete success, and the chairman of the board of the foundation can't say it any better. You know, it's a Fort McMurray tradition with a generosity of these companies uh, in order for uh, Keanu to do what we do. We could not do it without them. So. For Go at Buffalo, I'm Doug Roxburgh.